Hometown Heroes is an answer to the problem in Overwatch right now, which is that a lot of people get in because they're friends with someone, they've known someone in the T2 scene, and I think there's it's a really young game, and I think we wanted to say there's a lot of talent in the area, there's over 300,000 people playing in Philadelphia, and we wanted to see if maybe there's a diamond in the rough that we could add to our team. What we're looking for is to find a, a player that we can have that's, that's homegrown, that's a, a Philly player uh, that, we can, that we can grow and, and, and help learn to be an all-star. I came out here to support a friend of mine uh, who came out really to get noticed in a tryout uh, by the Philly Fusion. Uh, it's just really neat to take uh, esports and everything out of the digital space and not only for you know lands that are selling out arenas in global cities but to have physical space in a city and say you know what like we're here and we're willing to show up and we're willing to you know support this community. I, I think seeing something like that in Philadelphia is uh, really encouraging for this for this sport uh, and for the scene overall. I was surprised how many Overwatch players there were that I had not met. Uh, it's been great, everybody's been super nice, it's been great to just hang out. Watching a lot of the matches has been impressing me because I did not have high expectations coming in and so far pretty much everybody's exceeded them. Uh, I think I did pretty well. Uh, I played Mercy and Moira. I uh, only went through the first round, and my Mercy was pretty good. My Moira was a little bit off, but I think a little bit more warming up should help it. Yeah. Uh, I think I did pretty well for the first match that I had to do. The second match, which was King's Row, I was a bit iffy, but my team compensated for me, and we held it together and did extremely well, so we got the win. Uh, yeah, my team won our first game 2-0. Uh, it's pretty fun getting, meeting like locals and just Overwatch fans, and it's fun to just play to LAN. I was actually surprised. I thought we'd be kind of like not necessarily making hard decisions all the entire time, but every single time we had to promote one person over another person, we were thinking like, what did this person offer above the other person? There was never uh, an easy decision. So I was really happy to see that you know every time there were really strong contenders for each role. I think today was a fantastic success. Uh, there, nothing like this has been done before uh, in the Overwatch scene, and I think that it, it, was, it pulled, was pulled off really well. We had a, a great turnout. We had lots of positivity from the fans, from the community, uh, and I think uh, with you know. More events like this are gonna are gonna do even better. You know, one of the hardest things is in a, in a year or so coming back from LA and saying we're here now, and having local orgs that are promoting this kind of like you know PC bong slash tournament slash local talent thing. It's huge for us because we're not starting from zero. We're starting from a really strong position that's already a big established presence in Philly. So I mean, I, this is honestly this is my first LAN event. I've never been to one before other than uh, Blizzard Arena. So it's really cool to see. I mean, there's people coming out. A lot of the guys drove over like 100 miles to get here, and, and that kind of excitement is really cool. And you know, I mean, it's why I joined esports. It, it's why I'm happy to be here. So, um, Nerd Street's really exciting, and honestly, it's, it's it's a big help for us.